Tutorial 16 – Working with cross-sections There are tasks that require good knowledge of concepts and parameters of the foundations of cross-sections in Adobe Reader. This tutorial is for those who need to get an insight into the way cross-sections work in 3D models embedded in PDF. In 3D PDF Maker, open the file Tutorial 16.0. Click Edit with Adobe Reader and confirm the file saving. You can save your file in any folder and with any name. The PDF file has been opened in Adobe Reader and can be edited. Click Show Cross-Section, then Cross-Section Properties and take a look at the Cross-Section Z parameters. Let's learn to use the Offset property from the Position and Orientation section, making use of the percentage scales as well as the Offset slider. Now check the box Flip and observe the inversion of the cross-section. If the upper side of the model is cut off, with Enabled Flip you will see that cut off upper side of the model, while the lower side will become invisible. Click the button with the house icon. Again check the box Enable Cross Section and align the cutting plane to axis X. Adjust cutting plane opacity and offset, observing the changes in the model. Proceed in the same way, now aligning the cutting plane to axis Y and keeping checked the box flip. Now uncheck the box Flip, rotate the model with a Spin tool and adjust the Offset property. Now you've got the idea of cutting plane alignment to the axis as well as the Offset relative control. Click the button with the house icon. Check Enable Cross Section, aligning the cutting plane to the Z axis. Then adjust the Offset property to display well the X and Y axis. Now let's try to adjust the inclination slider Tilt 1. The cutting plane rotates around the X axis. Clear the Tilt 1 value and adjust the inclination slider Tilt 2. The cutting plane rotates around the Y axis. It is evident that both inclination sliders can function concurrently to create an inclined cutting plane as one indicated here. There are cases when you need to align the cutting plane to one of the 3D model faces. Check Enable Cross Section and click the button Align to Face. The whole model is a new visible and with a click you can select a face to which you want to align the cutting plane. In our case it is the front face. Just like any three non-collinear points determine one and unique plane, so you can define the cutting plane by three points. Rotate the model as indicated, so that you could easily click on the points of the axis. Open the Cross-Section Properties dialog. Check the box Enable Cross-Section and press the button Align to three points. The whole model is a new visible and you can select three points to define the cutting plane. As indicated, pick the points of the axis. You have created the cutting plane through the three selected points. In all these cases, it may come in handy to align the camera to the cutting plane. Clicking the button Align Camera with Cutting Plane, the camera becomes perpendicular with the cutting plane. When a cross-section is created, the intersections of the cutting plane with the model are visible. They are highlighted in some color. It is possible to change their color and even make them invisible. When the box Add Section Caps is checked, it creates faces along the section plane. This feature can be very handy in various situations, as in this case. Again, click the button with the house icon. Check the box Enable Cross Section. Click the left face of the cube and then check the box Ignore Selected Parts. The selected part is no longer cut off.
Now that you know how these options function, you can observe the effect these features produce looking at the Office project. Once again, let's click the button with the house icon, activate Enable Cross-Section Align to Axis X with the checked flip box and rotate the model as it's indicated. Now check the box Show Transparent and you can see the cutoff part in the transparent render mode. You should keep in mind that to save the section view you must always insert 3D comment that later could be deleted. Delete the 3D comment, exit Adobe Reader confirming the file saving, go back to 3D PDF Maker and click on Open last saved file. Double-clicking the model in the 3D Views tab, rename the view, confirm with OK and press the button Show Preview with Adobe Reader. The PDF file has been opened in Adobe Reader. It contains a cross-section view without its 3D comment. Exit Adobe Reader without saving. In 3D PDF Maker, go to File, Open Example. In the Tutorial folder, open the file Tutorial 10.2. Click the button Edit with Adobe Reader and save the file in a folder and with a name to your liking. In Adobe Reader, add your own sections to this model. This type of model suits perfect for hands-on training letting you put in practice what you've just seen in this video session.